The Ministry of National Defense announced yesterday that it would set up a military human rights committee, adding that it has also prepared an amendment that will place instructors for human rights in bases that are classified as battalions or higher. 국방부는 군 인권 문제를 논의하는 국방 인권 협의회를 설치하고 대대급 이상 부대의 인권 교관을 임명하는 개정안을 마련했다고 10일 밝혔습니다. South Korean Foreign Minister Yoon Byung-se, who is currently taking part in the ASEAN Regional Forum, along with United States Secretary of State John Kerry and Japanese Foreign Minister Fumio Kishida, held a meeting yesterday morning and talked about boosting cooperation in dealing with North Korea. ASEAN 지역 안보 포럼에 방문 중인 Yoon Byung-se 외교부 장관과 John Kerry 미국 국무부 장관, 기시다 후미오 일본 외무상은 어제 오전 회담을 갖고 북핵 문제에 대한 공조 방안을 협의했습니다. The Seoul Metropolitan Police Agency announced Gwanghamun, Seoul Square, and roads around Seongnaemun will be closed down in stages starting today in preparation for the beautification ceremony to be held by Pope Francis on August 16th. 서울 지방 경찰청은 오는 16일 프란치스코 교황이 주례하는 시복식을 앞두고 서울 광화문과 서울 광장, 숭례문 주변 일부 도로가 11일부터 단계적으로 통제된다고 밝혔습니다. The government announced that in order to prevent the entry of the Ebola virus into Korea, it is implementing various policies, such as strengthening quarantine measures at airports and harbors. While the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety announced it is looking into importing Ebola treatment medication, currently undergoing clinical testing in Japan in case of a worst-case scenario. 정부가 에볼라 바이러스 국내 유입 차단을 위해 공항과 항만의 검역을 강화하는 등 다양한 대책을 시행 중이며 식약청에서는 만약의 사태를 대비해 일본에서 임상시험 중인 에볼라 치료제 수입을 검토하고 있다고 밝혔습니다. CJ Entertainment announced that the movie Roaring Currents depicting the Battle of Myeongyang fought by Admiral Lee Sun-shin has sold more than 10 million tickets setting a new record. CJ 엔터테인먼트는 이순신 장군의 명량 해전을 바탕으로 한 영화 명량이 역대 가장 빠른 속도로 1천만 관객을 돌파했다고 밝혔습니다. Everyone will agree that cybersecurity is particularly important in this day and age. However, even the most stringent security precautions could be all for naught if you use USB devices. New research has demonstrated that a USB device that appears completely empty can still contain viruses even when formatted. Even seemingly innocuous actions like charging a device by using a USB connection can lead to malware infections. As of yet, there is no solution to the problem, so the best way to avoid being attacked is to avoid using USB devices. A new study has suggested that people who regularly consume fish have fuller brains than those who do not. And besides being just another feather in your cap, having a fuller brain could help protect against Alzheimer's disease. Specifically, the study found that eating baked or broiled fish is associated with larger volumes of brain matter in areas responsible for memory. Eating fish just once a week led to a 14% increase in the size of the brain's memory center. Conversely, eating fried fish was shown to be bad for one's brain.